Callable and runnable interfaces are both used to create threads in Java, but they have some important differences. In this video, we will take a look at both these interfaces and their differences with examples. Runnable is a functional interface that has a single run method which contains the code that will be executed when the thread is started. Run method does not return a value and cannot throw a checked exception. Runnable is used for creating a task that doesn't return any value and it can be executed by a thread. Callable is similar to runnable but it has a single call method instead of a run. Call method can return a value and can also throw a checked exception which allows for more flexibility. Call method can be executed by executor service which is a part of executor framework. Let's jump into understanding programmatically. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and receive notifications for new video. Create a class that implements runnable. Define run method. Runnable represents a task that is executed by a new thread. When a thread is started, run method is executed. Print a message along with the name of the thread that executes it. Define main method. Create an instance of the class that we just created. Create a new thread using its constructor. Pass the runnable instance to its constructor and start the thread. Also print the name of the thread that executes main method. Run the program. It prints the name of both the threads and you can see that both threads are different. Now there are two problems. We cannot return a value from the new thread to the main thread. Second problem is that run method cannot throw any exceptions. So, if we want to inform the main thread about an error in the new thread, we cannot do it. Here comes callable interface. Let's say we have a list of numbers and we want to sum its elements in a new thread and return value to the calling thread. In this example, we will look at how to do it with callable. Create a new class that implements callable. Callable contains a single method call, which can return a value. Note that callable is a generic interface. Its type will be the same as the type of value returned by a call. Let's define the type as integer. Implement call method, whose return value will also be an integer. Define a list of integers as the instance variable in this class. We will supply this list externally. So. Create a setter method for this list. Inside call method, we will calculate the sum of elements of this list. For this, declare a local variable sum. Its type will be integer and it will contain the sum of elements. Iterate over the list using a for loop. Add each element to the sum variable. Return sum. Also, print the name of thread that executes call. Similar to runnable, callable also represents a task which is executed in a new thread. To create a callable, instantiate an object of the class that implements callable. Define a list of numbers with some elements using list.off method and provide it to the callable object. Now, to use callable and its call method, we need to create a new thread. Callable cannot be used directly using thread class as runnable. We need to create an executor service for that. Creating executor service is straightforward using executors class. Executors has static methods to create an executor service, such as executors.new single thread executor. This returns an executor service for a single thread. There is a detailed video on executor framework. The link is at the top right corner. You can refer the video for understanding it more clearly. Executor service has a submit method which accepts a callable object and executes the task defined in callable in a new thread. Now, submit returns a future object, which represents the result of completion of the thread. To get the value returned by the thread, we can use its get method. Since this callable is of type integer, the result of get will also be an integer and it will be the sum of elements of the list. Assign it to a variable. Get method throws exceptions. Surround this with try catch. 
print the value of sum, run the program. Look, we got the sum of elements of this list, which is performed and returned from a new thread. If you look carefully, the program is still running. This is because executor service keeps on waiting for the new task. To terminate the program, call shutdown method on executor service. Run again. The program now terminated after completion. To summarize, both runnable and callable are used to create threads in Java, but runnable is simpler, more basic interface that is best suited for tasks that don't need to return a value or throw a checked exception. Callable is more powerful and flexible and is best suited for tasks that need to return a value or throw a checked exception. Thank you for watching.